Hello, hello everyone. Today's lesson we are starting decimal operations and uh, we're going to do adding and subtracting decimals today. Um, the rules for adding and subtracting are exactly the same. You follow the same exact steps. The only difference is whether you're adding or subtracting, so you got to pay attention to that sign in your problem. So let's just get started. Step one, you line up the numbers based on their decimal point. You need to make sure that when you are lining up your numbers, the decimal points are in the same place. And if they're in the same place, then all of your other numbers are going to fall into place as well. Step two, uh, make sure you include any placeholders. So if one number has um, more decimal more digits after the decimal than the other one, you need to make sure that you add those placeholder zeros at the end. Um, but we'll, I'll show you that in just a second. And then step three is to add or subtract like normal. So I'll scroll down just a little bit and let's start with our first example. So 123.67 minus, and go ahead and line up that decimal point and then you can write your numbers around it. Because it's so super important that the numbers all line up where they're supposed to based on the decimal point. Now going back to that step two. So we've got our numbers lined up based on the decimal point. Our decimal points are uh, straight up and down right above each other. Include any placeholders. So placeholders are zeros that just hold the place of a number. In this case, our top number, 123.67, there's an extra digit right here that we don't have down here. So what you would do is add a zero, and that's it. If it were opposite <clears throat> and my bottom number had a number, but this one did not, then you would put the zero up here. You're just holding the place so you have something to subtract. So then we just subtract like normal, seven minus zero, is 7. 6 minus 4 is 2. Bring down your decimal point. 3 minus 5. Oh no, can't do that. So I need to borrow and turn this into a 13. 13 minus 5 is 8. 1 minus 4, can't do that. So I've got to borrow, turn this into an 11. 11 minus 4 would be seven and a zero minus nothing so we don't have to do anything with that so our final answer is 78.27 now <clears throat> let's move on to our second problem so again we're going to line up our decimal points and then we'll include any placeholders after that so our first number nine point seven five four and then I'm going to go ahead and put my decimal point for my second number, and I'm going to write the numbers around it to make sure they line directly above or underneath the other number. So then this is a 3, 2, 1, and now I need a placeholder. You could put placeholders right here if you want to, but it is not necessary. So now you just add like normal. We've got our decimals lined up. All of our place values are lined up correctly. So all you got to do is add. 4 plus 0 is 4. 5 plus 5 is 10. So we put our 0 down here. And we carry our 1. 1 plus 7 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. we got to put our 2 right here. Bring a 1 over here. Bring down that decimal point. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. You bring your 3 down, put your 1 up here, 1 plus 2 is 3, and then we have nothing to add, so we just bring that 1 down. So my final answer for this problem would be 133.204. And then our last problem, let's pick a pretty color. I like this one. Uh-oh, I'm not going to be able to see it. So let's line up our numbers. 3, 7, 6.9 minus 
163. Oh no, this number doesn't have a decimal. So this is just a whole number. We don't have any decimal points. We don't have anything after that. So if I have a whole number, the decimal always goes at the very end of the whole number. So if you don't know where to line it up, look for the end, and that's where you put your decimal. So if I were to line this up with my, my other number, the decimal would go here, and I write the numbers around it. I need to put a placeholder, so I'll add my zero right there. And now I can subtract like normal. Just remember that whenever you have a whole number, your decimal point for the whole number always goes at the very end of the whole number. So 9 minus 0 is 9. Bring down your decimal point. 6 minus 3 is 3. 7 minus 6 is 1. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So our final answer is 213.9. And that's all it is. You gotta line up your des your decimals and all the place values around it need to match up one directly over the other, just like you see here. Make sure you include those placeholder zeros. Here, I'll put a little so you know that's what we're talking about. And then you just add or subtract like normal. Pretty easy stuff.